Saludos a todos, moralistas, socialistas, capitalistas, racistas, quien sea. Bienvenidos una vez más a Disco Elysium. En el episodio anterior <ríe> eh, terminamos de investigar el cadáver todo lo posible, le quitamos la armadura y ahora estamos a 10 minutos de las 12 para la noche y me voy a meter a meter una duchita porque apesto... Basumare, imagínate. Cuando... This is not the cleanest bathtub in the world, but it's cleaner than you are right now. Ah, that soap scum smell. It smells like life, at least compared to you. Vamos a dar un baño. The bathtub slowly fills with water. The water beckons. Se llena de tina. The water is only lukewarm, but still comforting, like amniotic fluid. A few beer cans are bobbing up and down along your flanks, like sad duckies. <laughs> Imagínate, pues, tu lata de cervezas o tus patitos de goma. You feel nice and lonely, and so, so tired. Sacar la lata de cerveza de la bañera. <laughs> Now you are alone with your thoughts in the tub. But it's easier than being alone with your thoughts outside the tub. They're not even really thoughts, just assorted sensations. None of them acute enough to focus on. Quedate un rato en la bañera. Your fingers grow pale and are covered with tiny whirls as the water cools. What are you doing? You're not some fat fish in a fucking aquarium. Time to get moving. Imaginar algo. You see the corpse. You can still smell the cadaver on you. It's going to take more than one bath to get rid of that stench. Then, houses along a narrow street. A video rental. Darkness on the planet's curvature. Abstracción. Escalofríos. Son los que cuando... Cuando tienen esos pensamientos, esas frases, siempre se van bien lejos. La otra vez nos fuimos hasta afuera de, de Jam Rock con ese pensamiento. Llegamos hasta la comisaría con esas ideas, las conversaciones. Qué, qué manía de... Es como unas experiencias incorpóreas. O sea, cuando tu alma sale de tu cuerpo, así cuando estás dormido, y sale a, a vagabundear. Algo así, pero esto, esto lo hace literalmente en un pensamiento. Vamos, salgamos a la bañera, ya estoy mucho tiempo. The water line recedes as you stand. You are cold now. Your clothes stick to your still moist skin. Bueno, por lo menos nos dimos un baño. Y tenemos un puntito. Ahora la cama. Sobre. The bed is still cold from the broken window, and not too inviting, but it's yours. You've earned it. Ir a dormir. The bed is still cold from the wind blowing in from the broken window. The mattress creaks as you close your eyes and try your hardest to fall asleep. Here we are again, my broken bird. The waves are coming, carrying you away, but you can't go. No, you have to stay always half aware of yourself. Sistema límico, el superello. You're not cooperating, brother man. ¿Por qué? It's your disgusting body. Even through your sleep, you feel a vague discomfort suffusing it. Your belly and your sides are unpleasantly tender. You wish you could curl up into a fetal ball of safety. But you... And there's a lot of it, ever present in your organs. It's like every one of them has their own nasty song to sing. Mirad el loro, está despierto. Vale. Está... 
Soy un artista, el del daño es mi empática. Creo que necesito atención médica. Oh, yes. That'll check you out. Give you some pills. Make it all okay. The Wonder Makers. Don't be stupid, Harry. It's not happening. They don't make new kidneys and livers in hospital. All you've got to do is pray to God it passes and stare at the flickering darkness. You're just stuck here in the half world. Could try looking at other people, really looking. But why would you want to start doing that? Lo haré. Miraré a las personas todo el rato. Me gustan. Sure you do. They're all so friendly, aren't they? Some of them are. Some of them are nice. Others are scared. At least they're interesting. Each one has a process just like yours. Running in the space between their ears, full of secrets. Hay que notar algo. En la primera conversación y en la segunda que tuvimos con eh, el ello y el super ello, nuestros sentidos no nos apoyaban en nada. Hoy día están, están a la orden del día. Nuestros compañeros están ahí para darnos una mano y apoyarnos. Aun como puedan, a su manera, pero cada uno algo es algo. People are beautiful, statuesque, parodies and tragedies of themselves. A great democracy of creatures. Tal vez sea la resaca lo que ha mantenido ocupado o evitando que nuestros demás talentos o partes de nuestra personalidad del, del yo no, no salieran a defendernos contra el sistema límbico y el cerebro reptiliano. What do you think you're doing right now? Coming to some greater awareness. Look at all these lights blinking in and out of existence. Thoughts! You're just pretending that you're asleep, even to yourself, while the world goes on without you. Let it. Let it. But it never seems to let you go, does it? Time to rise and wipe that shining sweat off as best you can. Gather your bearings. Rock and roll. Llegó el día. Mal sueño, un poco dolorido, pero por lo menos no tuvimos que saludar al ahorcado otra vez. Es hora de decirle adiós al ahorcado de una vez por todas. Al hombre al que el amor lo mató. El que dice que el milagro viene del noroeste. Esas fueron las únicas dos frases que a, a la chica Miss Orange le afectaron. Todos los demás diálogos, esto ella sentía como que, o sea, por su tono, parecía que lo tenía bajo control. <risa> La corbata se This fan, or has it been consigned there as punishment? Sí, he pagado. Bueno, vámonos. No, vámonos, no. Vamos a ver a King. Estaba pensando si ir a ver a Miss Orange un poco antes de hablar con King, pero siento que no. Además, King hoy día se va a ir a, va a estar todo el día fuera con el cadáver. Mientras yo voy a estar de solitario. Oh, oh, espérate. Yes. No vamos a hablar de las botas que llevo puesta. Ok. Let's talk about it. You stole the boots. 
Congratulations, that must have taken an enormous concerted effort, considerable ingenuity and timing. Now I'm going to report you and you are going to go to jail. In serio? It was a joke, sadly. There's nothing I can do about your delinquency. Ah, what's done is done. Let's get back to police work. <laughs> vale, King, lo siento. Te voy a dar un... Si te encuentro algo, te invito. Y estos dos caballeros... Ah, por si acaso me voy a poner... Policías parecen. Voy a ponerme el, inform el uniforme. <risa> Camisa. Estos zapatos que me da autoridad, buenos. Los pantalones no son los mejores. La gorra, lógica uno, manipulación menos. Ah. Los guantes, instinto. Ah, sí, creo que está bien. Vamos. Conversemos con las personas. La mujer en un RCM Patrol Officer's Uniform winces as she notices you. Cara caballo, ¿en serio su nombre es ese? I would really prefer not to talk to you right now. A patrol officer is the lowest rank in the RCM, below lieutenant and sergeant. Investigo en mi sitio, ¿era la caballería? I'm definitely not the cavalry. Va todo bien, ¿por qué no quieres hablar conmigo? I don't know. I mean, uh, why would I want to talk to you? Uh, ¿Te he ofendido de algún modo? Me ha pasado con mucha gente. No, you haven't wronged me. It's okay. Okay, fine. Let's talk. What did you want? ¿A qué distrito perteneces? What precinct? Am I from? God. He doesn't know. Fucking deranged lunatic. You're getting an intellectually unsatisfying vibe from this conversation. Vale, Maybe Dios. you're doing something wrong. Uff, por esta reacción ya me han dicho ya. Ya. Siento que estos son de mi comisaría o de una comisaría o de algo que me conocen. Y que por un. Uh, cualquier reacción de así... No... Tú está mal. Ah. Vamos a ponernos un esto. ¿Qué nos ponemos? Oh, generar de fecha de vencimiento. Forma de vida de gimnasio. Ah, el farway, este es de la armadura. Capaz nos dé algo. A ver, joven. You look like shit. Hombre, no me estás dando mucho espacio para de cortesía. And I don't mean that as a metaphor. Uf. No estoy en una mierda. Judith, back me up here. You do look. It looks like it's been a tough week for him. No, what do you want? There's something about this guy that matches with a face in your head. A similar, but different face. Spirit of the corpse. Spirit of the corpse. Watch out for you. Vale, vale. No insultes. No tienes que estar ahí. Spirit of the corpse. Again? I can't believe this. There's something that binds you to him. Some kind of an outfit, maybe. A uniform. Un uniforme de control de animales? The police of animals, yes. Eso no suena bien. No, quise, no quiero decirlo. Of course, you don't have to. You can talk about anything you want. 
Subamos el espíritu de Corps cuando podamos. No, hacer preguntas de quién pertenezco, quién eres, esto... ¿no? Creo que es lo peor que podría hacer. ¿Este chico? Hi, gendarme. Another rendezvous. Hey. Hola. I see you found yourself a little something from my wardrobe. Not bad, not bad at all. What brings you here? Oye, compostura, ¿por qué me haces tanto? Si eres el que más le puntos le doy, maldita sea. ¿Qué estás haciendo aquí? Admiring the atmosphere. What about you, officer? Acá vivo yo. O oh, aquí me reside por ahora. Convenient. But what are you doing here? Talking to me. Háblame a través del tipo musculoso que vino a investigar el crimen. Oh, yes, let's see. He knocked on my door a few days after the lynching. I think he was going through the entire building, asking questions. ¿Qué aspecto tenía? Muscular, handsome, strong, like one of those military types. ¿Será uno de los compañeros mercenarios del horcado? ¿Qué le dijiste? Nothing. That I didn't see anything. ¿Y te creyó? Why shouldn't he? ¿Le hablaste a tu amigo? What friend? ¿Tu amigo de los amigos? No. I don't think it came up. ¿Estaba solo? Yes, but he was speaking to someone on his earpiece. ¿Pinganillo? Yes, you know those tiny speaker microphones that fancy security guards sometimes wear. ¿Y qué decía? Just reporting back whatever I was telling him. Aparte de músculos, ¿tenía algún otro rasgo distintivo? ¿Tatuajes? ¿Algo así? Ah, uh, let me think. He had an accent. He sounded like one of those mercenaries. Vale. He sounded vaguely Oranese. No, not vaguely, scratch that. He sounded definitely Oranese. Sí, ya, ya sé quién puede ser. Gracias por la información. Sure. Anything else on your mind? Hablé con tu amigo los domingos. You did? And how did you like him? Tenías razón, fue mágico. Mágicamente burocrático. I told you, he can be very useful. I guess that's the charm of powerful people. ¿Y quién es? A visitor from the first world. He's not like you and me, gendarme. He can always return. ¿A dónde? To his opportunities in Occident, Sir Leclay. Still. His coming and going brings some life to the village. Or is it just money? I don't know. Ese hombre es de los que van a donde, a donde va la plata, así que no me no más seguro. ¿Qué sois vosotros dos? ¿Qué relación tenéis? Friends, I told you. Sunday friends. Friends who like to get together from time to time. ¿Qué significa ser amigo de los domingos? That he won't be there when times get tough, I guess. Oh, vale. ¿Qué clase de amigo es ese? It is. On Sundays. Claro. Los amigos del pardo, de las fiestas. ¿Qué hacía en tu apartamento, tu, tu apartamento en plena noche? He has keys. And he likes the view. To the sea, I mean. Vale, no quiero hablar de otras personas, quiero hablar de ti. Mm -hmm. What about me, gendarme? Mm, acerca del sombrero que llevo puesto. You can keep it. I don't mind. I can appreciate beauty when I see it. Lo cogí para encajar, estoy de incógnito. Blend in where? A carnival? Claro. Bye bye, gendarme. Por aquí estaba... Algo así decía de que... Ah, acá está. ¿Este es? No. Behind the dock workers, a ceiling height window. The hawthorn branches scrape the glass like bony fingers. Mirar por la ventana. There's a yellow ribbon tied to one of the branches, light yellow, faded with time. A tiny splash of color in the blackness of the thicket, hanging from it, a bronze key. 
Someone hid the key in the bush and attached a yellow ribbon to make it easier to find. It's close enough to the latch up there. One can slide it open and just take it. Surely not a coincidence. Alguien escondió una llave en el arbusto. Ah. Me permitís que me prometéis que me acerque para cogerlo. I don't know about that. I'm comfortable here. Don't Entonces, think any sliding would really help right now. Alan. Entonces, acércamela tú. Sorry, fucko. Looks like you're gonna have to go bush diving. I'm gonna enjoy the sight of you in the bushes out there. With a loud thud, the old man stands up, pushes the window open, grabs the key from the hawthorn branch and slides it across the table to you. Gracias, Teo. The key is brass. Workshop spear is etched into its bow. The old man closes the window and sits back down inside. Come on, man. We were just having some fun. Where's the home in? I'm tired of listening to your shit. Gracias. Don't thank me. I don't give two shits about your key. There is a silence around this man's words. Unlike Titus, they're afraid of him. That's the type of respect he commands. Me pregunto qué puertas abre esta llave. It's for the blue door in the kitchen. There was a note there that you missed. It said the workshop key is behind the window. It's this key. Sí, sí, ya lo sé, ya lo sé. Tenemos ahí. Bueno. Oh, tenemos algo más para decirle, Titus? It's you again. What is it? He comentado la cinta con clase. And Y nada, se mantiene firme en su declaración. That fucking fucker. You're the worst cops in Revishaw. I gave you gold on that tape. Sí, era bastante tuya. Sinceramente, esperaba que surtiese más efecto. No shit, it was bad. The fuck did she say then? It's all fuck a doodle fine. This is what people are supposed to talk like. Creo que de hecho provocó. Creo que de hecho le provocó cierta nostalgia. Yes. In fact, I think she thought it was a little funny. Funny. No good. Goddamn psycho whore. Vale, Titus, parece que este es el tema de los manipuladores, fue, o sea, has sido manipulado y cuando conoces a alguien, del otro lado la persona te das cuenta. Ah, oh, esta chica classy, de verdad, de verdad, no sé qué está ocultando más. All right, all fucking righty then. I guess it's good then. That fucking. Please try to control yourself in the presence of visitors. Titus. This is just perfect. Just fucking perfect. Any thoughts on this, lawmen? Women are crazy. Irrational. That's what you're thinking, right? Also, your fists are itching for a bump. Anti-feminista, feminista. Uh... Tal vez no le calaste tanto como tú pensabas. Nah. I know her. She's just a girl. In over her head. Siento que no la conoces de verdad. No, es una chica indefensa. Se les apoyó muy bien con el mercenario. Handled him. She got into some stupid shit with that guy. Shit we had to take care of. Yes, yes, we heard all about it, and the fact still stands. You were more disturbed by the tape than her. Sincerate conmigo, Titus. ¿Qué ocurrió en realidad? I already told you. We fucking hanged him. There's less gusto in his voice now. His men too are growing increasingly silent. 
Come on, Titus. We know you didn't hang him. He was shot. I know you're tired. So am I. Why don't you just... You know what? I am tired. I'm tired of you and the whore upstairs. Next time you see her, tell her Titus said. Fuck off! This is the petulant rage of someone who's at the end of their wits. And that lion scamming. We're done. This is over. You understand? Your little investigation is over. Pero si me quedé en ocho días. <laughs> yeah. On the floor, bear drips out of the can into a small puddle. No one does anything about it. What is this quiet funeral shit? All we need is some beers in us. Bartender, 20 beers for the dock workers union. Why do we make it 40, huh? Why do we make it 100 beers? You're not loud enough. 100 beers? Now we're talking. Hoppity hop over here, cafeteria manager. The window might be closing. The more beers they get in them, the less cooperative they will be. Ay, retórica, 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 amada retórica. Vamos, retórica. Vamos. Convince Titus he's being manipulated. You should know by now. Titus Hardy will never falter. But you know someone who might. Uno de los chicos lo Fat Angus, the powerful guy. Mr. All Muscle, the time has come. Put him in the pressure cooker. Just remember, it's about more than Glazia. It's about these men and Martinez, their district, their responsibility. Outside, under the rising sun, tattered and in ruins, the windows of the cafeteria aglow with her morning light. Entonces ya está, caso cerrado. Nos vamos a casa, Kim. ¿Eh? Así me la corriente. You get it. Go. No te la Kim. En Martinez simplemente te matan si no les gustas. Got it. Kill you because they don't like you. All because. A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. Perdón, perdón, perdón. Me había dejado llevar por el esto. Va de los dos hombres de Martinez y su distrito y su responsabilidad. Porque eres extranjero. God damn right. Don't come around if you're not from around. Fuck you. I'm not from around. That's not why we. There we go. Don't come to the wild north if you are not white enough. Te te cuelgan y te disparan. Lo que sea, ni siquiera lo recuerdan. It wasn't that. It wasn't. We didn't shoot him. That's it. That's the weak one. You flushed him out. Now go in for the... Officer, you will be next if you don't shut up. Firearm. A Glass 08 or a 38 caliber pistol. Either is small enough for you to have missed. Valga Meteo. Guarde tranquilo. He's on to you. He knows what you're trying to do. <sighs> ¿A quién miro? ¿A Angus? ¿A Teo? ¿A quién? <laughs> Mirar a Angus. ¿Me vas a matar? Como hiciste con él, solo porque te salga de los cojones. We didn't kill him. We didn't even hang him. He was dead when. Shut up, Angus. Estaba muerto antes que lo arcaras. Fatty, say one more thing to the cops and I'll. Dennis, stand down, or I'll beat your head in. Theo, take your hand off the belt. This isn't 31. I've got this under control. Mm. Mm. 
y cantaste es, esto acaba hasta el que la gorda acaba o oh, el gordo Angie where's your goddamn inhaler you sound like you're dying I left it home I can't get it I'm too fucked I'm sorry why are you so fucking fat Angus now it's all pointless because of you you wasted my time I told you Titus I told you just give her up Lizzie your help is no longer needed here go tell Everard fine I'll tell him after a long walk along the coast Oh, se les acabó el circo. Ellos que todavía tenían mis canchitas para comer. Yorin, he's all yours. Questions. ¿Quién lo conseguimos? The lieutenant gives a smile only you can see. Entonces no lo habéis matado, ya estaba muerto. He nods. You hang the corpse to cover up the real cause of death. The bullet in his head. Another nod. ¿Por qué? Because the girls asked us to. They were in some shit. ¿Las chicas? En plural, no solamente una. Did she kill him? Cop, I have no idea. The girl says she didn't. ¿Qué ocurrió el domingo por la noche? Classier came down. She seemed really out of it. Drugged up, even more than usual. Bug-eyed and gurning, you know. Not in a fun way. It looked like she'd redosed after something went down. I've seen that look before. She was scared. I knew someone had died. Para alguien manipulador que esté así de asustado, algo debe haber mal pasado. ¿Cómo lo supiste? I've done this job for ten years. I've seen it before. It's the politician in the motel room with the dead hooker scenario, only in reverse. Vale. Good analogy, boss. <laughs> Demasiado bien, diría yo. You don't get to talk yet, Chinky. You're still on the bench. You keep taking it easy too, Angus. ¿Y qué pasó después? We went upstairs. Sure as day the Merc was dead. And there was a bullet hole through the window. A uh, fucking dirty sheets and bottles everywhere. Tibbs patched the window. And the corpse. We hanged. ¿Quién es Tips? ¿El octavo Hardy? Nah, he's my brother. He's in the window replacement business. Ah, ya. Yeah. Si Clashy no lo asesinó, ¿por qué encubrirlo? You may have noticed our girls in some shit of her own. Yo no he notado nada. ¿De qué tipo de miércoles estás hablando? Estamos hablando. They can't show up on police radar kind. There are people after her. From the old, old world. Where she came from. ¿Quiénes son de estas dichas personas? They're powerful, connected to the moral intern. She's clearly afraid for her life. Says if she showed up in your systems, she'd be ghosted away. Vinculadas al moral intern. El funcionario. El funcionario. El amigo de los domingos. El amigo de los domingos no, no venía acá para visitar a su amigo. Él era solamente, este chico era solamente un espía para esta chica. And why would you help someone like that? By taking on a murder? Why would I? I guess we abide all sorts of runaways and losers here. It's a Martinez thing. Entonces, ¿quién es el mercenario? ¿Alguna idea? Not yet. Just some ideas. She says the shot came from outside, behind the window somewhere. So that's a clue. ¿En qué piensas? I'm thinking someone's past caught up with them. Either hers or his. Hers, you mean? I mean the people after Klausia. Maybe the shot missed. Maybe it was meant for her. I like that. Been thinking the same thing myself. ¿Sabes algo del pasado del mercenario? Madu, one of those mercenary buddies of his could have done it. They got guns, training, years of bad blood, probably. Or it could have been someone else from Cronell. 
Tell you what I'd do. Check out the coast for vantage points. Maybe consult with a ballistics buddy of mine. That's what I'd do. If I wasn't too busy doing this clown dance with you. He's calm now. Threw all that turmoil away and became himself again. Mira, mira hablar de payasadas y esto está descubriendo, encubriendo el crimen en vez de tratar de descubrirlo. De todas formas, ¿de quién fue la idea colgarlo? De ella. In a manner of speaking. ¿Qué quieres decir? We had help from another girl. It was her idea to hang him, and I liked it for political reasons. It sent a good message. De ella, la traficante de drogas, el octavo Hardy que falda. Fella, you think too much. He's off all right. You're gonna hurt your head. Mm. That woman is just affiliated with the Hardy boys. You don't know her anyway. Entiendo. Puedes contarme algo sobre ella, nombre, ubicación actual. Nope. You're not getting to her. It's Clausia you want to talk to. Oh, así que yo veo el mandadero, la traición y la verdadera persona a quien hay que proteger. Titus. Gracias, Titus. Entonces hablaré con ella una última vez. You do that. Hey, cop. Before you go. Suddenly, the wind picks up outside. You hear it rattling the large windows in their frames. It carries newspapers, circles the whirling in rags in a warm column. She, Clausia, came to Martinez to hide. Many of us did. This is where you wash up when there is nowhere left to go. The Union takes you in. Now, she refused that protection but prefieres que no nos la llevemos that's right if we didn't take care of the people who end up here this place would just be a couple of ruins and some cargo containers we'll take that into account Así que tú eres el espía que está trabajando para el funcionario. Hi again, gendarme. Bye bye, gendarme. Hi again, gendarme. Con postura, vamos uno. It's the sports. He's a sports guy. All about that physical. Bye bye, gendarme. Ah, vale, vale, vale. Olvidémoslo. Vamos a hablar con Clashy una última vez. You see, a heavy steel. The key fits the dim. Vale. Sorry, Kim, tú estás llevando el cadáver ahorita, pero estamos estamos con las nuevas nuevas y no podemos hay que pegar cuando el martillo está caliente cuando mientras el yunque está caliente digo vale o sea la que dio la orden no fue Titus fue la chica pero entonces la molestia de encubrirla no vino de Tito, sino de ella, de la otra chica. Y esa otra chica es la que Tito está buscando proteger con más ganas. A él no le importa lo que le pasa a Clashy. O oh, bueno, eh, comparado con la primera, con la octava chica de Hardy, no le, le importa menos lo que pase con ella. Pero Clashy, Clashy no mató al, al esto, eso estamos seguros. O bueno, creo que estoy casi seguro, por lo menos un 70% de que no sido ella. Siempre es usted proceso, ya. Something in her demeanor has changed. She's tired, consigned to her fate, to being here with you and what's to come. Mirarla a los ojos. Confusión sobre la bala. Ay, necesito una voluntad. Los Hardy nos han contado la verdad. I understand. Just like that. No resistance. Her shoulders are slouched. Her feet long and straight. Calma, soy el policía guay, ¿recuerdas? 
I'm sorry for wasting your time. I should have known you'd... that you'd find out. Why did you waste our time then? Because of the Hardys. I couldn't just dispense with them. They were only trying to help me. Out of the shit I'd gotten into. Is she implying the Hardy boys are the law? Why? Esa explicación me satisface. I am not. There is more here, miss. You're right. There's more. <sighs> Esta chica es una chica que ha sufrido. Claro, es manipula manipuladora y todo, pero... La voz de cansancio... Bueno, vamos. You answer to the coalition government, and by extension, the moral intern. Briefly glancing over her shoulder to the sea, as she's done time and time again. A grand expanse of water reaches over the bay and to the horizon. Grey and pale violet in the morning light. ¿Qué hay más allá? The pale, the Buindi Isola, the Occident, and then Aranje. The old, old world. Por eso no dejas de mirar por encima del hombro. Tienes miedo al amor interno. You share a database with them. You send people to their courts. ¿Qué ocurre? ¿Qué les hiciste? Just business. But bad business for some people in the moral intern. If I show up in your records, officer, they will find me. They what happens if they do? They will kill me, sir. If you file my name, take me in for questioning, enter me into the moral intern mill. Well, then I'm fucked. For nothing. This murder didn't have anything to do with me. ¿Qué le hiciste a esa gente que va por ti? It's not nice, but it's not illegal. Not here in Ravishol. Or even in Orania. What exactly did you do? Industrial espionage. I joined a business collective with the intention of betraying them. I did my job well enough to be asked to do it again. With a bigger company. The kind you really, really don't fuck with. I took their ledgers. Two decades worth of accounting. I need the names of the companies involved and who hired you. The job was Lou's doing County Savings Bank. They sound small, but they're part of the Lou Scott conglomerate. That was the second job. The first was some printer company. You wouldn't know them. As to who hired me for the job, I don't know. But they're after me too. Along with Lou Scop and their friends in the MI. <sighs> Once you're done in the competitive intelligence circuit, you don't have allies. You're radioactive. Ay, Dios mío, mira no te has metido. <sighs> Estás hasta el cuello. No tengo de otra decir. Te has metido con una gente muy poderosa. ¿Cómo no vas a terminar así, pues? ¿Ha valido la pena siquiera? It is. Many people lost their jobs. Not just C-suite. Ordinary people. What I did to get to accounting... A lot of people got hurt. But that's just more of my shit you shouldn't have to deal with. You're solving a murder. ¿Qué pasó aquí la noche de la defunción? We were there. Together. In bed, I mean. Exactamente, ¿qué pasó? Okay. He was in a kneeling position. He had just entered me. I was on my back, looking at him. I heard the window behind me shatter, and I turned to look. There was a hole in the glass. Vale. I turned back to him. His eyes were looking through me and his mouth was open, dumb. I could see. A great pain moves through her, a dark and indefinite wave. She continues in spite of it. I knew he was dead before he fell down on top of me. ¿Qué pasó después? He was heavy, 
I pushed him off and he fell to the floor. There. He only had his boots on. I bit the pillow, not to scream, then ran downstairs. Lo siento. I waited for the second shot to come. For me. I thought there would be one. It never came. She's forgotten about her cigarette. The butt has burned right down to her fingernails. Tu cigarrillo. Oh. La mente lo sucedió. So am I. What time was this? When did it happen? It would help us if you could be as precise as possible. 11.30 to 12.15. I don't know the exact time. Around midnight. It's okay. Were you inebriated? Not as much as usual. He'd done a line, plus other things. I was drinking. Wait. Titus said she was gurning her jaw off much more than usual. Titus dijo que parecías bastante puesta. Oh, yeah. I did one of his lines, just to clear my head. Mm -hmm. Good thinking. Clear your head. You should clear your head. Tú Get into his mindset. No. Did you hear or see the shooter in the course of this? No. ¿Qué hiciste a continuación? Nothing. I was trapped. I was stuck in my room downstairs. I got some clothes on and crawled back up, drew the blinds. Blood was coming from his mouth. Not a lot, just a little. He was still on the floor, slouched. I couldn't be there with him anymore. So I ran down and out of my room, into the hallway, down the stairs. I knew there would be people there. ¿Qué pasó después de que bajaste corriendo por las escaleras? Sylvie was tending the bar. A lot of people were there. The Hardys were at the table in front of the stage. I think the union box was full. Ruby was there too. They were having such a good time. I sat down and they all welcomed me. I didn't even have to say anything. Ruby knew something was wrong. Ruby? Antes de continuar, ¿quién es Ruby? Ruby. You know, the leader. O sí que... No son los chicos de Harvey, sino son los chicos de Ruby. The leader of what? The Hardy Boys. ¿Cree que Hardy era el líder de los chicos de Hardy? Well, nominally, yes. Ruby's the one they go to when things happen, like things they need taken care of. She's the organizer. This Ruby, in her phrasing, is entrusted with great power. She trusts her. So do the others. Bien notado, autoridad. Would you say she is the eighth Hardy boy? Why not? Well, Ruby said let's talk upstairs. I showed her the room. I've known these people since December. They know my situation. But I can't leave a paper trail. Ruby was the first one I told. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. She said she'd take care of this. It's what she does, you know, take care of things. I helped her get the body to the bathroom. We used a belt to pull him up under the shower to keep him upright. To mislead you, they were tampering with the body. Ya veo, por eso que no había tanta sangre. To produce lividity, matching a hanging? Sí. Yes. We completely missed the tampering. Looks like you got there in time. What was this, 20 minutes after death? About 20, yes. Ruby explained it would make the blood... You know what it does. Sí, eso es lo que entendí. ¿Qué hiciste a continuación? Ruby went outside to talk to Titus and the boys. I was just... looking at Lely in the bathroom. I had to put his clothes back on. His armor, too. It was tough, but I've seen him take it off and put it on many times. It took Ruby maybe half an hour to come back with Titus. I'd gotten him ready by then. They carried him out. I knew what they were going to do. Make it look like a hanging. Ruby said they would. 
Espera, ¿qué hiciste mientras ella lo colgaba en el cuerpo? Ruby said to wait here. She also said I wouldn't see her for a while. That we should lay low or something. So I did. ¿Y dónde se encuentra Ruby ahora? I don't know. I haven't seen her since. Ruby, ¿eh? We will need to take this question to the Hardy Boys. Sí. Interesting. Why did this Ruby go through so much trouble to hide something someone else did? Look into this later. ¿Escuchaste el disparo? When he was shot? I may have. I don't know. I couldn't hear anything over the glass exploding. The gunshot wasn't that loud. This is something to keep in mind when assessing the distance of the shot. Tengo una parte de teoría sobre dónde puede verse el disparo, pero ¿mataste tú a Lily? No, eso es ridículo. ¿Puedo ver si es la gente que te buscaba a lo que le mató? That's the first thing that went through my head when I heard the glass break. ¿Y? I thought they'd found me. They've killed him to punish me. All last week, I've tried not to talk to anyone or be seen with anyone so they wouldn't be hurt. I've come to understand, however, this is paranoia. What happened didn't have anything to do with me. ¿Tuvo que ver o no tuvo que ver? Tomemos en cuenta la bala. La bala es de un rifle antiguo. Si es un asesino de moralistas, moral interns, que ellos son los que los más más tecnológicos y todo eso, y los más, más poderosos y dinerados, usar un asesino con bajos recursos, no creo. Ahí teníamos tres teorías sobre quién podía usar el arma. Pandilleros, restauradores y todo eso. Pero pandilleros no podrían mantener, reparar un arma así. Necesitarían dinero. Considerando que tienen más de 50 años de antigüedad. Y restauradores. ¿Para qué un restaurador quisiera usar un arma así? Mm. Pienso que no. Pienso que... No sé. No sé, sinceramente. ¿Por qué dispararían en primer lugar contra su casa o en contra de su habitación? Específicamente esa, esa situación. Sí, sí tuvo que ver. Y si capaz fueron contratados uno para así, para, para hacer esto. Berlín Marín de dos pingos, tu carro de ticker fue, ya no fue, fue TT, pégale, pégale tú, eh. Or... I don't know anything anymore. All I do is wait here. We can't go after Loose Cap. Not yet. There are other saner leads. I don't ask you to, Lieutenant. But there's one thing I know, is that you'll get nothing from there. ¿Por qué llamaste a la policía si te estabas escondiendo? Creo que esa es la pregunta más importante de este... Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Which is an indicator of truth. Idiot. She's nothing of the sort. Eso es lo que quieres hacer no creer, pero no lo eres. You have to understand. The people around here. No one was making the call, and he kept rotting. And then they picked his clothes off. And that little fucker threw stones at him. Her jaw is clenched. Her throat moves. It takes all her strength not to cave in and sob. Once. Just one time. He kept throwing stones at him for three days. I could hear the thud. Thud. So I called you. I hope with all my heart it's not the last thing I do in Ravishol. ¿Cuándo la cambiaron? Señalando la ventana. Last week. Angus and Titus's brother, I think he's called Tibbs, took care of it. You should have another look at that window after this. Reconstruct the scene. It's right there. ¿En su habitación, dentro? Yes. You see the glass sparkling out of the corner of your eye. Ah. Creo que hemos acabado por ahora. 
She nods silently. She doesn't even smoke, just picks up the cold coffee and holds it in her hands. Um. He's thinking, are we done here? Oh, teatribilidad, teatribilidad, teatribilidad legendaria, 8% el amor acabó con él. O voluntad. Vamos. Uh, teatribilidad, a ver, tenemos algo que mente de teatribilidad. Creo que no. Creo que no tenemos nada, solamente tenemos para compostura. As. Ventaja por objetos uno. Bueno, perdón, vamos a salir un rato. ¿Qué pasa? As you look back, you think. So love did do him in after all. ¿A qué te refieres? Tienes razón. Tenía razón. If it weren't for her, he would not have been there. Ah. The shot would not have connected with his soft palate. Parece que después de todo el amor acabó con él. She's silent, holding on to her coffee mug. No vapor rises from it. It's cold. Remember this silence. The lady is dangerous. People suffer around her. Déjala responder. Yeah. I'd like to think he didn't love me. Or that it was chemically induced and not real. ¿Por qué? Easier that way. For real. I don't know. A ver, tetribilidad, quitémonos, pongámonos algo que nos dé tetribilidad. Me veo ridículo, pero... What brings you up here in the rain? Por Dios, despierta. But we are awake, sire. She has been forthcoming with sordid details women usually conceal. Most shocking details of the sexual kind. We are a bulwark, unbreached. If you have doubts, just give us one example of deceit. Just one, and we will gladly change our minds. Estoy en blanco. Este está, está en lo cierto, gran sabio. Es una tontería creer que miente. Gosh, she's so young, isn't she? She would look spectacular in a starring role. Be careful not to look too long into her soon-to-be-famous face, lest it make you look like an indecisive suto. Yeah, yeah. It looks like this one's not waking up. You'll have to do it without pushing her further, at least for now. Okay. No, 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 no. She nods silently, Ay, then qué? picks up. Teatribilidad. ¿Por qué serás así? Otra vez. Officer, what brings you up here in the rain? Una vez más. We are still Por wide Dios. awake. Gosh, she's be careful not to. It looks like this one's not waking up. Dejémoslo todo ahí. You'll have to do it without pushing her. Vámonos, Kim. No hay nada que hacer acá. Tenemos que revisar la ventana. Una última vez. Kim dice, ¿a qué hora me llevo el muerto? <laughs> no, pero literal, el, el fiambre, todo el sentido de la palabra. Ah, oh, se muere. This window is pristine on the inside, unlike the one next to. A ver, visión espacial. Vamos a equiparnos con visión espacial. This window is pristine on the inside. Golden light melts away into the blue, glassy darkness of your mind. In it. Are two neon lit shapes, a man and a woman, on the single bed. 
¿En qué posición estaban? Like the witness said, the man is kneeling, the woman is on her back. It's the night of March 4th and a shot has just been fired. The man looks directly at the woman. The shot's possible directions converge in his mouth. A ray cast from somewhere outside, entering his brain. ¿De dónde viene? From the roof outside, location A prime. The glass fractures around the bullet hole. Shards face inwards like a corona behind the woman's back. Inspección de las figuras fantasmales. The man does not know the bullet has entered his brain. He never will. Death comes faster than the realization. Echar un vistazo al punto A, la azotea. The ray cast from the man's mouth unravels into a fan of possible directions, all on the roof at first. The shot could have come from any of them. This is composite location A prime, most likely of the origin points. No tendría que haber residuos de pólvora ahí afuera. There could have been. Then the rain and slush and wind washed it away. This was more than a week ago. Entonces estoy un 80% seguro de que la bala se disparó de la azotea. 72% with an antique weapon that fires military grade ammunition, a Belmagrave rifle, for example. This is a good short distance, but not too short. The perpetrator aimed with their back against the railing or possibly kneeling for precision. This would explain why it only took them one shot. The lights were on in here. Outside it was dark. It was like shooting fish in an aquarium, a well-lit aquarium. The victim opened his mouth to let the bullet in. Neither of them would have seen anything outside in the darkness, too busy with their own bodies. En otras palabras, el asesino debe haber sido muy, muy experimentado. ¿Pudo el disparo venir del interior, de algún punto más cercano? Point X would contradict the woman's testimony, rendering the entire proposition void. These figures would be wiped out, detective. ¿Hay algún punto, uh, argumento en contra de la A? None that you've found thus far, but that doesn't mean there aren't any. ¿Puedo ver otro punto de origen más alejado? That's a 28%, yes. In this model, the shot could have come from a greater distance. Nothing excludes the possibility. Should we extrapolate to include every possible point of origin in Martinez? Vale, 72% se ha sido desde la azotea y 28% se ha sido más allá del esto. Es un rifle, un rifle disparado desde cuántos eran esos? 3 metros, 4 metros, 5 metros. Es mucho más probable. Hmm, ya. Yeah. Extrapolar radio para incluir Martínez el completo. According to your map of the district, this shot could have come from a wide angle of locations, starting with the northern edge of the abandoned boardwalk, ending with an islet in the bay. Let's call them B prime. Más concretamente. B prime for boardwalk, B double prime for land's end, and B triple prime for the islet detective. There may be smaller points in between, but those are too fine to zoom in on. Echar un vistazo al punto B, al paseo marítimo. 700 meters away, the likeliest of these B positions, 20% chance. A skilled sniper could have made the shot, provided he had a safe sniper's nest. Even with the light on inside, we're talking military training. At that distance, the perpetrator would have had to take wind direction into account. Punto B, Finisterra. 1.2 kilometers away, the least likely of these positions. Let's say 3%. A truly skilled sniper could have done it, possibly from a tent. No, too far-fetched. ¿Qué acaso el, eh, el asesino ha estado ahí meses, días, esperando que suceda la escena? Mm. Echar un vistazo al punto B, al islote. One kilometer away, a point beyond the docks, on an islet in the bay. The fort is ruined, but the perpetrator may have found a stable spot on the beaches surrounding it, where the concrete crumbles into the sea, as you saw in the coin-operated viewer. The shot would have been a small miracle, 5% likelihood. There is an extremely narrow field of view from the bay to the window, 
between Rue de Saint Gislaine 10 and 33A, the angle would have been extreme and access to the islets is questionable. Oh, sí, pues, no puede haber sido desde ahí. Debe ser desde algunos de los apartamentos de acá cerca, capaz. ¿Quién crees que el disparo pudo venir desde un lugar más lejano que la azotea, en Martínez? From where, precisely? Pongamos B, el paseo marítimo, Finistierra y el islote. I see you have given this a lot of thought. Are those the locations you've singled out in addition to the roof? And what is the likelihood, in your opinion, that it came from a further distance? Mucho menor que de los, desde la azotea, pero aún así. Okay, well, we should see if there is gunshot residue or sniper nest if we go down the coast. Roll these spots out one by one. Vale. It would be the diligent thing to do. Until then, personally, I'm going with the roof version. It fits the hidden path through the whirling. A simple hypothesis. Vámonos. Sí, pues, lo más seguro es que sea de la azotea. Que alguien haya venido por acá y haya disparado. Haya venido por la puerta secreta y haya disparado. O sea, como hay huellas y todo. Pero... Hmm. Bajemos, bajemos, bajemos. ¿Quién te está diciendo? Oye, quiero me llevo el cadáver. Desde el inicio del video me estás así. Todavía tenemos bastantes misterios que resolver, King. Pero tú te vas a ir un momentito. <ríe> ¿Qué puntos tenía que subir para hablar con estas patas? Sabio, eh, autoridad. Again, he might be wearing a disguise. Bonita gafa, va disfrazado. Again, he might be wearing. Yes, it's a hobby of mine. <laughs> Can I help you? Another thing. Great. I love those. Clashes de la habitación número dos fue que manipularon la línea telefónica. Why? No. Fuck it. I don't want to know. I don't want to know why these degenerates do what they do. I thought we had one good guest in the building. Tienes a Lena. Lena es una buena cliente. Yeah, well, she's not a guest, is she? What? Did someone mention my name? <laughs> uh, we were just paying you a compliment. And finding out a degenerate from room three nicked the phone line. Everything is okay here. Good thing that guest pays for her stuff on time. I'll forward her the bill and be done with it. Was there anything else? Garte, si te dijera que logré entrar en la habitación trasera. Oh, okay. Well, I did hear you make noise back there, so good for you. He's really, really holding himself back here. Es lo que no es que no vas a preguntarme a qué he encontrado. Okay, what is back there? Eh, esqueleto es un mausoleo de la muerte. Yes, haha. What's actually behind there? Máquinas de pinball, vas a un taller, hombre. Ha! I knew it. I've always wondered where those machines by the door came from. And they told me there was some kind of pinball thing here, too. Y no te, vas, no te va a gustar lo que sigue después de eso. I knew it. Were there any back there? In working order, I mean. Uh. ¿Por qué? ¿Te apetece, ¿Te apetece jugar? Porque yo me echaría una partidita. No, I was just wondering if you found pinball machines there. He was wondering about something business related, about how much money he could make of one. <ríe> si piensas vender esas máquinas de pinball, quiero una buena tajada. A lo ejecutivo agresivo. Darte una. Soy un disruptor. Those machines are whirling property. But if it makes you feel any better, I'm not planning to sell them. Gracias. 
It wouldn't hurt to get a little life in here, other than the hellish karaoke machine. That one's always causing trouble. Anda, hombre, qué tan malo es la gente cantando en el karaoke. Sounds like he cares about the place. He's not going to be overjoyed to hear that it's part of the doomed commercial area. Exacto. He should still know. You have to be forewarned about these things. Tengo que advertirte. Puede que haya descubierto que el Whirling forma parte de la zona comercial maldita. What? Why would you say that? We're at a completely different address from that whole thing. So he knows of the doomed commercial area and its address. He's thought about this. El William figura en la lista de intercomunicador afuera como uno de los, eh, de los negocios del edificio B. Debería ser que revisen, debería ser que revisen el cableado. Llamé y no hubo nadie y no hubo forma de contactar. I've been working here for a long time and that intercom has never been used by the Whirling. El Whirling solía ser parte del Salón de Arcade de Pinball Delta este antes de caer en desgracia. Es solo cuestión del tiempo que William también se arruina. Does this look like part of a doomed commercial area? This pre-revolutionary tile work, these high ceilings, the nice rooms, well, most of the rooms. <laughs> For 14 years, man. That's how long I've worked here. I've kept this place up through hail and through sleet. Fuck me, if some doom ghost. ¿Quién es el dueño de este sitio? Some real estate management company. They never come around here, just collect money from afar. Honestly, I think some money laundering might be involved. Debe importarte mucho, considerando que llevas trabajando bastante tiempo. Yeah, it, it's slowly growing on me again. It's beautiful in its own way, especially for this neighborhood. I've been trying to keep it that way. Vale, Garte. Muy bueno escuchar eso. Even if it is part of the damn doomed commercial area. Aha, así que por fin lo emites. Yes, your police skills have delivered. I'm sure you'll get a commendation, maybe even a promotion. ¿Y quién no llamó William Rux? Well, it sure as hell wasn't the real estate company. It was you? You look surprised. What? It's a great name, I know. Cafeteria managers come up with great names too. It's Una... from a song. ¿Una canción? Hail Holy Queen by the Ateniers. Hail Holy Queen of the Sea. You're whirling in rags. You're vast and you're sad. You are willing in rags. You are vast and you are sad. Eres vasto y triste. Good pick. <laughs> Aquí me mola. Bueno, te deseo mucha suerte con este sitio. Luck has got nothing to do with it. I need to think about where I'm going to place those pinballs. I have a feeling they're going to help. So, if you didn't have anything else to tell me about my establishment, can we... You know, wrap it up. La última cosa. Hay una mirilla en la pared. Que eso es lo que más me ha preocupado. What wall? En la de arriba. En la habitación secreta de atrás. Justo al lado del dormitorio de Classy. Lo encontré cuando me topé con la máquina de pinball. I'll have it fixed at once. Thank you for letting me know. I assure you, the whirling does not abide spying on its guests. The color has drained from his face. What a shame to fix such a good peephole. Seguro que no has estado espiando a los huéspedes? Absolutely not. Fuck you for even implying it. It wasn't me. It wasn't my staff. The establishment will look at it and ascertain what it was. Well, he's definitely not lying. He wouldn't endanger this business like that. Sir, he was only asking a question. It's his job and mine. See that it's covered. Yes, I absolutely will. Sorry, it's been a bit of a day. And now a hole in the wall. Torrillas temperando. Está bien, está bien informado. Quedas. No, no, no. Pobre Garte, no. No voy a decir, es la dos. Vámonos a Cinema. Concluye, llegamos. Thank you. I'll patch it up personally. Was there something else about the establishment? 
I hope not. Ya lo del cartel, nada más esto sobra. Yes. Ya, adiós. Se nos fue la jardinera. No, ya no creo que hablamos con Titus ya. Creo que ya acabamos con Titus. Menuda mañana. Recién ha pasado una hora o dos horas. Bueno. En eh, tiempo de grabación llevamos una hora. Pero el pobre aquí dice, ya me quiero llevar el cuerpo. Ya es hora. Yo espero que vaya a pasear yo. A descubrir misterios y todo eso. Examinar las zonas en donde pudo haber sido el disparo. Tengo un momentito para subir. No. Y... Ah, tengo, tengo, tengo que bajar por acá. Corramos, corramos, King. Hay que hacer deporte. Pues tendré 42, 50 años. ¿Cuánto me pusiste? 62 a la virgen. No estoy tan viejo. Bueno, canoso, hay bocas pollo, tal vez sí. Tendré la cara moretia. No puedo ni bajar ni la corbata. Bueno, King, el cuerpo es todo tuyo. The bear's eyes are still glowing red. It's all right. I will need a little help carrying him. You take the hands. I'll take the legs. Muy bien. Y se nos fue el abrocado. Se nos fue Lely, Lely de Lely Stat, Orange. Los mercenarios. Los mercenarios, todavía queda ese asunto de los mercenarios que están ahí junto con los esquiroles. A ver, veamos qué tenemos que hacer. Determina el origen del disparo. Haz que titude la ubicación de Rubí. O sea, que si sí tenemos algo más que encontrar, encuentra el arma. ¿Dónde están los guantes? La esclusa... Cierra la esclusa del agua. Ah, sí, ya empezó. Ya es miércoles. Ya podemos entrar esto. Quiero las firmas de la Veráltica. Cierto, vamos a ver lo de la Veráltica. Tengo mi librito aquí. Mientras nadie me ve. Oh, mapa no. Mm. Libro guía de libros. Son libros sobre diferentes especies de cacatúas y su problema de comportamiento. Quizás te ayude a comprender los, los tuyos propios. La espectacular cacatúa abanderada de la portada parece observarte fijamente. A cockatoo is a parrot with an erectile crest found on the Seminine Islands and in southern Fas a la Mer. Known for their intelligence and general precociousness, cockatoos are popular birds in aviculture. However, they often exhibit various behavioral issues. Vale, ¿qué más? This book talks about the delicate nature of twos, as well as introducing some of the most popular species among the bird enthusiasts. The funeral cockatoo, the major majestic cockatoo, and the most common bang bang cockatoo. It's colorfully illustrated. Leer acerca de la cacatúa pom pom. Despite its banging name, the bang bang cockatoo is actually the shyest of the species, common in almost all Seminese forests, as well as zoos and homes all over the world. Its la... plumage is mainly grey and white. The Seminese name bang bang, perhaps the most impressive of all the species, the endangered major majestic cockatoo, is often described as the most flamboyant bird in the jungle. Its pink-colored wings and flowing crest embellishing its proud and bumptious nature. In the words of poet explorer Sir James Fournier, few birds more enliven the monotonous hues of the verdant forest than this big, bold, and beautiful species. It must be glorious to behold, dark pink and snow white. Y la cockatoo funebre. This is a yellow-tailed black cockatoo. Its specific name, Sitarchus funerius relates to its dark and somber plumage. This bird looks as if dressed for a funeral. 
24-7. There is something indisputably ominous about it. O sea, somos una cacatúa fúnebre. Al decir verdad, este, este pájaro me recuerda un poco a mí. Yes, but all those cockatoo species are so different. Which one are you? Tan solo la cacatúa fúnebre en su toda su oscuridad puede llegar a comprender la profundidad de mi alma. You're right. You're Setarchus venerius embodied. This ominous bird belongs on your heraldry. Guardemos el libro. Muy bien, señora, ya leí tu maldito libro de cacatúas. Y <ríe> ya hacemos, ya te puedo decir cuál soy yo. Tenías razón sobre ser lo de la cacatúa. Excuse me. Me puse a leer sobre ellas, tal como dijiste, y ya he decidido qué tipo de cacatúa soy. ¿Quieres saberlo? I don't know. The most talkative one. No, soy una cacatúa fúnebre. The what now? La cacatúa fúnebre es de las más deprimente de todas. <ríe> You truly are one strange cop, aren't you? I have a strange cop offering to find my stupid husband. What a day. Me pondré en marcha. Bueno, ya estamos con la cacatúa. Eh, los tatuajes de la víctima. Si no hay alguien más, si sí, lo significase. Y esa no es una buena idea. Bueno. Vamos a cruzar. Es cierto, mi visión espacial subió. ¿Puedo usar esta vaina ya? Ah, no, ya lo sé ya. Creo que sí o creo que no. No recuerdo ya. You see a set of tires, sí, Trexy. ocupado. Puedo analizar la ventana con un francotirador y todo. Creo. Mm, no. Vamos por el... Vamos a cruzar el puente. Cierto, esto... Titus me recomendó buscar un profesional que sepa de armas. Capaz el de las... Capaz el de la tienda sepa algo sobre las armas. Aunque no, no parece que le guste. Pero creo que es el de... Él es la persona de confianza más experimentada que conozco por acá. Hello, hello. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Ah, uh, quería hablar sobre mi arma, des mi arma desaparecida. Sure thing. Ah, no, no. Sure, man. No, no. ¿Podré venderle mi arma? Hello, hello. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Tengo cosas para vender. Sure. Let me have a look. Unas piezas de armadura. All right. Let's see it. Oh no, 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 no. I don't need bloodthirsty mercenaries knocking on my door looking for their missing toy. Besides, this gear costs a fortune. There's no one in Martinez with that kind of money. Vale. It feels like he would have accepted the risk if he hoped to profit from it. It's not greed, though. Deep down, he's a gambler. Anything else you're thinking of selling? No, nada más. Another time, Ben. Pensé que sacar algo de vendarme, pero parece que no hay nada. Hmm. Bueno, crucemos el maldito río y vayamos por fin en el otro lado a conocer qué es lo que hay más allá. Pero por lo menos ya hemos avanzado un montón el caso principal. Ya hemos descubierto cómo murió, cómo, pero todavía no sé quién fue y todo eso, aún no lo sabemos. Oh sí. Bajé a el control panel with loose wires. La dangle. He grabbed the handle and pulled the lever up. As soon as the metal connects against the contact pins, you hear a loud clunk. Then the water lock starts moving. Sí, sí, sí. Nueva zona, nuevos misterios, nuevas 
revelaciones. ¿Dónde se ha el hombre salami? Necesita un desayuno. Ah, cierto. Si vamos a ir a una nueva zona, tengo que estar con mi bolsa. Relay de radio, retoma con el cierto. Oye, esto. Es una... ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué? Camiones abandonados más allá de la verja. Cafas de sol de la unidad motorizada. Empatía lógica. Oh. Alguien se ha dejado acá un par de gafas. Estos son los camiones saturados por el esto. Por el paro. Alguien ha roto la valla del alambre de espino. ¿Podemos pasar por acá? Falta el columbio, hace mucho que nadie, nadie está por acá. Rust peels off the bent iron posts of the swing. The wind whistles through the skeleton of the small house behind you. ¿Qué pasó aquí? There's desolation everywhere. In this yard, someone thought they could have a summer house on the beach for cheap. It didn't work out. Looks like they abandoned it. This is a good place for a nice, sad drink. Uncork a velvety bottle of red wine and think about life for a moment. Really philosophize. Verdad, hablando de tomar. Tengo una misión para tomar, ¿no? Pégate un lingotazo. Cuando era una moda y tómatela. A ver. ¿Me tomaré pues? No creo que me haga tanto. Well, hello. Someone seems to have found himself a bottle of alcohol. Here's where the magic happens. Mira la botella. Light reflects off the green glass of the Commodore Red. The gods have been generous. Better pop it open before they change their minds. Wow, the gods of mass production have made this alcohol container laughably easy to open. A child could have done it. Pero es buena idea, creo que padezco de problemas cardiovasculares. Oh yes, the chest pain and the dizziness. You've suffered long enough. Now it's time to drink, to live. Dios mío, por lo que hago, por el punto de experiencia. Si no fallar, si no tuviera tan mala suerte, no haría esto. There's a satisfying pop as the cork jumps out, and the hair on your back rises like an army at attention. You've been here before. Welcome back, detective. You're home now. ¿Qué repercusiones podría tener un sorbo de nada? Nothing. Some mental stuff. Nothing to be worried about. Ah, vale. Physically, you'll be strong as an ox. Ay, sí, el extra que me categoría mucho. Pero ya bueno, vamos por uno. The golden sun melts down your throat. Its rays filling your nostrils with sunshine. Your stomach melts from it into a happy, gooey mess. So does your mind. All the bad things are melting. You're you again. A real cop. A real detective. Incredibly well done. In the bottom right corner of the screen, there's an alcohol button. Alcohol gives plus one to physique skills. Physical instrument, half light, electrochemistry, endurance, pain threshold, and shivers. This is good before rolling a white check, but damages your morale. And remember. From the void we came, and to the void we must return. Ah, eso fue pésima idea. Pero bueno, terminamos con esa. Por lo menos no me puse la misión del speed. Ay oh, no, drogas no, gracias. Esto es temporal. 58 minutos restantes. ¿Qué es esto? Perfecto de cuatro pisos en correr en el menor. Ya. 
estamos con el efecto de constitución. ¿Qué pasa allá acá? Más dinero. La fita dice gloria a los fantasmas que somos. Un barril. Basura, basura. Alguien dejó su colección de música bajo la lona. Cinta, smallest chart in the center. Eh, por fin la encontramos. Hay pájaros en el avión. Me depende de por decirle cuánto proviene de arriba. Encontramos la cinta de la iglesia. Ahora solamente falta encontrar mi placa. ¿Qué es esto? Una botella vacía congelada en el hielo. Lata de combustible desgastada. Y esto... Esto es... Mi carro. This is it. The scene of the party, the fire pit, cigarettes and empty bottles all evidence it. Tu firma, la maldita botella. La maldita botella. Esta es tu firma. Este es tu maldito carro. Los sospechaba, o sea, todos, como dice aquí, todos tienen un carro, todos tienen placa, todos tienen una pistola, todos son policías. Todos los policías lo tienen. Porque tú no. Y ahora seguramente que ese destrozo que hay al frente de las marcas de ruedas que hay al frente del hotel, del hostal, también son tuyas. Espera, ¿no te refieres a la escena de crimen? No es such. I'm talking about what came after the party scene. Cierto, pareció que un par de chavales estuvieron en la fiesta, de fiesta por aquí. Looks like they were here a while. Judging from all the bottles, the sunken motor carriage provided them a focal point, like a goose ice sculpture or a chocolate fountain. Debo seguir. Y él acerca de la costa cruja de desplazarse. A banged up motor carriage lies half submerged in the icy water, slowly sinking into the Insulindian Ocean. Only the cabin top, rear wheels, and the engine remain visible. It must be cold and lonely down there, in the icy water. Remember the tire tracks in Martinez? This is where they were leading. Sí, pues acá es donde conducían. Acá es como llegó. The motor carriage sits in the salty ocean water, cold and sad. It doesn't have an opinion. Vamos a investigar. A seagull takes off from the half-submerged machine. It's almost like the bird is acknowledging your decision. You get a sudden sinking feeling. Stomach acid comes up as you look at the motor carriage in the deep, dark, cold water. Pasar la mano por el metal frío. The motor carriage is properly stuck in the ice. Getting it out would require a team of specialists. ¿Cuál es la marca de este carruaje? Veo es algún tipo, algún logotipo. Veo. The logo is too deep in the murky water. You can't make it out, but you do see a monkfish float by. ¿Cuánto tiempo llevo aquí? The accident couldn't have happened too long ago. The ice hasn't closed up around the vehicle, so the crash must have happened last Saturday or Sunday. <sighs> Hasta la fecha coincide, maldita sea. The estimate is correct. The incident probably occurred on Sunday evening. Bueno, bueno, parece que el viaje de Jacob y Irwin llegó a un abrupto final aquí. Your mocking tone finds no response, but the motion of the waves. <sighs> Otro más en el que la cilindra del motor se le pasa a ahí. Basta regocearse, esto es serio. The motor carriage does not dispute your evaluation of the situation. ¿Qué hago? Although the sunken motor carriage is probably flattered by you addressing it, it does not supply an answer. It might be a good idea 
to wait for the tide to recede. Vamos a esperar a que suba la marea. Ah, pero estoy 60, 70, 80. ¿De qué es mi carro? As you sit down in the old rusty playground, the world around you becomes very silent. The hinges creak under your weight, dangerously so. Nothing but the sound of seagulls high above in the sky, echoing like distant laughter. Ice cracks around the blue motor carriage in the sea. Silbar una canción. The tune on your lips forms a strange yet undeniably beautiful contrast with the surrounding bleakness. It's sad that no one and nothing but the sunken vehicle is here to witness it, but the unexpected beauty of the tune lifts your spirits nonetheless. The clouds pass in the sky and the shadow of the swing moves like the hour hand on a timepiece. Thirty minutes have passed. Looks like this might take a while. Time to present a good topic for discussion. Me pregunto qué estará haciendo toda esta gente a mi espalda en la ciudad. Dreaming, drinking, fucking, fighting, trying to improve their lives, wishing for a better tomorrow. La marea se está tomando su tiempo. It's unclear whether the sunken vehicle agrees or not, but merely uttering these words gives you the illusion of time speeding up. Just like how the crazy daredevil piloting that vehicle must have accelerated into the sea. Mundo interior, no estás ayudando. Clouds on the horizon grow darker and the shadow of the swing set keeps climbing. You hear the distant rumble of the city. 30 minutes pass. Esto está tardando un horror. Yes, it is. It feels as the city behind you grows silent in the waiting. Seems like an eternity has passed. A dim light scatters from the cloud cover above the city. In it, you can see the blue and white motor carriage slowly appear from the water, centimeter by centimeter, as the sea recedes. It's a Cupris 40, a workhorse of the motor park, favored by the working men, government offices, firefighters, I guess, Maybe animal control people. You know, those kind of people. Entre cerrar los ojos y decir, ¿Ese es un número? Yes, Harry. It's the number 41. The number of our precinct. I hoped you would come back for me. Oh, Dios mío. Sí. Sí es mi carro. No, no está pasando. No en mi presencia. No puede ser. No. Es de verdad, de verdad es mi maldito carro. De verdad lo es. Come on, Harry. There's nowhere to run. It's just you and me, old friend. Por favor, 41 no puedes explicar tantas cosas. No es que yo sea el dueño del número. Come on, Harry. There's nowhere to run. It's just you and me, old friend. Oh, Dios, no. I'm so sorry, Harry. A massive pit opens up in your stomach, and the most terrible feeling comes over you. Oh God, Harry. Oh God, Harry. What did you do? No. Just nope. Say no to this, Harry. Oh, Dios mío, estrellé mi carro en el mar. Yes, Harry, you did. No, 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 no puede ser, de verdad, he perdido el carro. No puede ser, me van a matar. The sooner you accept it, the sooner you can move on. A lo mejor iba persiguiendo a alguien. You were not. Sí, lo más seguro. Todas esas botellas y todo eso. ¿Cómo te sacamos? We don't. ¿Cómo puedo arreglarlo? No, you can't. No me van a dejar a volver después de esto, ¿no? After losing every single thing you were entrusted with, I wouldn't hold my breath. La placa, el arma, y ahora esto. Keep moving. You're a shark. You stop, you die. Bueno, al menos ahora puedo examinarlo. 
<sighs> Game. An aggressive looking seagull lands on the swing set and stares at you with a murderous look. You really need to keep moving. Idea. Fairweather T500. Remember that weakness you were looking for in the ceramic armor? Like, maybe it can only stop small, fast projectiles, but a large, slow moving pry bar would shatter it? Or, if I run an electrical current through it, maybe it will melt. Or, personal favorite, frequency something something radio weapon? None of that would work. You need to shoot the part of the enemy that doesn't have Fairweather T-500 on it. Because the armor itself is invulnerable. Good Vale. Contra la Cordición 2. Kim. Qué bueno que no estuviste aquí. No hubiera imaginado la cara que hubieras puesto. Veamos qué más hay en el carro. Mi placa. Mi chaqueta. Quitémonos esta tontería de encima. Ah, perdí el carro. Pero gané una placa. <ríe> Esos policías que están ahí en el, en el hostal. Quítate esta tontería de la mano, maldita sea. Bota la pierda, la no sé. Busquemos pruebas, no sé cómo. Tenemos que buscar pruebas. Lo que sea, no podemos estar a que más perdiendo el tiempo. Tenemos que resolver el caso sí o sí. ¿Cómo he sido tan tonto de perderlo todo? Todo lo has perdido, Harry. Todo. Todo. ¿Qué... ¿Qué, ¿Qué rayos? ¿De verdad querías morirte? ¿De verdad estaba tan desesperado? Una brisa fría basta para hacer que se crujan los tablones la pared. Postal Ciudad Carbón, año 808. Una pajarita. En el resto de una habitación distingues una silla de rojo oscuro. No hay nada más. Qué extraño. ¿Y qué es una pajarita? Una fina hoja de papel cubierta de unas gruesas capas de acrílico azul en la que se lee un nombre, un rango de agente en cuestión. Junto al texto puedes ver la imagen o nombre que te mire fijamente. Una versión más de ti mismo, ya descompuesto por dentro, pero presentable por fuera. A police badge on which you see the photo of a man. You. Some seaweed is stuck to the back. He encontrado mi placa. The man in the photo looks at you solemnly. Examinar la placa. Encased between two durable plastic sheets is a bluish card with lines of information and a watermark in the shape of the street grid of Revishol West. You see a photo, a name, a rank, a document number, the date of issue, and in the lower right corner, your precinct. Mirar la fotografía. The man keeps winking at you with his green gray eyes. The photo is old, no doubt about that. ¿Cuánto tiempo tiene? Eight, maybe ten years. The guy in the picture is rather good looking. He's got a nice haircut and is distinctly lacking in massive sideburns. ¿Y por qué me está guiando el ojo? What do you think? His face is already contorted by the expression, although it looks less grotesque on him than it does on you now. It looks better on him because he isn't in as much pain while producing it. 
as you are now. Although there's already a hint of that pain, certainly. Don't be fooled. The bad times have already begun. Wake up the past and tell it to stay awake. The bad times are here to stay. The badge in your hand shines as you rotate it, catching light. You see lines of information on it and a shining watermark. Harrier do Bows. This document confirms it. Harrier Dubois, i.e. Harry is really your name. Rango Titi Hirf er the inspector creos and inspector superior or something. That's what it says on the badge. No more information is pro You should look at the badge when Lieutenant gets the badge in your hand shines as you rotate it. Cuando vuelva aquí. Pero eso será para el próximo episodio, caballeros. Vaya trago amargo del carro. Vaya trago amargo. ¿Quién? De verdad. ¿Cómo no has estado acá para ver este desastre? En cierto modo me alegro, me alivio. Pero en cierto modo... Pucha. Necesitaba alguien a... Con quien pasar esta mala no trago. Bueno. Eso es todo por ahora. Espero gente que les haya gustado el esto. Continuaremos en el próximo episodio. Muchas gracias por ver.